आई डियर फेलोज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द फ्लोरल फार्मूला एंड फ्लोरल डायग्राम ऑफ फैमिली सोलिनेसी इन अ सिंपलेस्ट एंड ईजी वे फॉर लर्निंग लेट्स वी स्टार्ट द फ्लोरल फार्मूला एंड फ्लोरल डायग्राम ऑफ फैमिली सोलिनेसी विच इज कॉमनली नोन एज पोटेटो टोमेटो आर कैप्सिकम फैमिली First I will tell you the floral formula of family Solanaceae. Floral formula is actually the floral numbers of different parts of the floral parts that is the symmetry of the flower, the calyx, corolla, androecium and gynoecium. Here you see the I have draw the circle with plus this is called as actinomorphic in family Solanaceae. Most of the flowers are actinomorphic and their symmetry is radical. I will explain based on the symmetry of the flower. Flower is classified into two types that is actinomorphic flower and zygomorphic flower. Actinomorphic flowers are those flowers which is divided from any point into two equal parts while zygomorphic flowers are those flowers which are not divided into equal parts by any point. So the actinomorphic flower the symmetry is radical and flower is divided into equal parts in more than one point. Now the second representation of the floral formula is the sexuality of the flower. In case of family Solanaceae the flower is bisexual that the each flower contain both male and female part that is androecium and gynoecium. So it is represented by circle with arrow and plus. So that represent the hermaphrodite or bisexual nature of family Solanaceae. Based on the presence of male and female part of the flower, flower is divided into two types: bisexual flowers and unisexual flower. Bisexual is also known as hermaphrodite flower, the flower in which both androecium and gynoecium are present in the same flower. While the unisexual flower is those flowers where the only part of the flower that is either androecium is present, it is called as staminate flowers, either gynoecium is present it is called as pistillate flower that is the male flower is separate and female flower is separate based on the presence of um, gynoecium and gynoecium now the other part of the flowers are presented by k c a and g k represent the calyx calyx is the outermost whorl of the flower in case of solanaceae the calyx are greenish in color and they are persistent throughout the life so this is the diagnostic features of family solanaceae in case of solanaceae k is represented by five sepals which are united to each other when the calyx the sepals are united to each other it is called as gamosepals as you can easily see i represent the calyx in the form of five sepals and they are united that is they are gamosepals so here you see the five sepals are in the form of gamosepals manner in floral formula the calyx is represented by five units that is sepals and the bracket shows their nature of union that is they are gamosepals now corolla is represented by c and the petals they are a colorful in different flowers either whitish reddish bluish or purplish in case of family solanaceae the corolla is represented by five petals they are also united to each other that is gamopetalous i have represented the petals in five in numbers and the bracket shows their union that is they are gamopetalous The third whorl of the flower is known as androecium in family Solanaceae. Androecium is represented by five stamens. They are free from each other. For the free we use the term polyandrous. While the stamens they are attached to the petals, they are above the petals so they are called as epipetals. In floral formula I have represented androecium with a five in numbers and there is no bracket. It's mean the stamens they are free. the arrow show that they are attached to the petals so it is the term used in case of solanaceae is epipetalous nature of the stamens the fourth and innermost whorl of the flower in family solanaceae is known as gynoecium which is the female part of the flower it is commonly known as Uh, the gynoecium which consists of the units known as carpels in case of solanaceae the carpels are two in number and they are united to each other that is called as syncarpus ovary where the carpels are united to each other 
so i represent the gynaecium with two carpels and the bracket shows the nature of union that is the same carpels and the line below two is represent the ovary nature that is superior in family solanaceae the ovary is superior and other parts are located below the ovary so this type of ovary is known as superior ovary and is represented by underline and the flower is known as hypogynous on the base of ovary position flower is divided into three types hypogynous flower epigynous flower and perigynous flower hypogynous flower are those flower where the ovary is superior and other parts are inferior in epigynous flower the ovary is inferior and other parts are located above the ovary while in case of perigynous flower the ovary is present in the circle or in all other parts are located around the ovary so this is the position where the ovary is neither above nor below so this flower is known as perigynous flower now i summarize the floral formula of family solanaceae that is actinomorphic represented by a circle and plus bisexual arrow and plus k5 united c5 united a5 that is free and epipetalous while g represent by two carpels and syn carpels and ovary is superior So in this video I give you the brief and simple way for learning about the floral formula how we write the floral formula in case of family solanaceae and how we draw the floral diagram